I want to thank you so much because I noticed I got a lot of new subscribers. So welcome, welcome. I also want to send a very special thank you to one of my really special subscribers, Janice. Um, she made a really nice YouTube video about getting a personal reading from me and it's funny because she was one of the ones that waited longer than usual and she requested a refund because it was forever and I was like fine because I told you guys you know that I had um, a setback and it's not about the money I said if you don't want to wait just email me and then she took it back and trusted in divine timing and she confirmed it's like that's just the way that it works so my little one for those of you that don't know i'm a single mom she's uh not going to be home until tomorrow morning so i'm really busy doing private readings i had no intention on posting a reading today but let me not even say it's going to be quick because we all know <laughs> i'm gonna try though i'm gonna try but 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 i had a crazy revelation and i had to share it so this isn't going to be an average reading. It literally was mind blowing to me. And that to me means like right now, now, okay, current energies, a huge change, huge changes all around, like explosion. First of all, I have amnesia after I post a reading. I'm just going to start there. For those of you that don't know what amnesia is, I mean, you just don't remember anything. Because I'm in a trance, swear to God. I post a reading, I kind of like sort of remember things that I say in the reading, but my readings are freaking like two hours long. You really think I'm going to remember what I say in every single reading? No. All right. And I never look either, because that's so time consuming. You guys know how busy I've been. So, something said... Start looking through the videos you posted. And I said, all right, fine, sure. I mean, let me just scroll. I have never done that. So I'm actually curious to see what I posted. This is all gonna make sense. I'm not storytelling. This is everything to do with what's going on right now. You know, I'm a medium, I channel, obviously. But things are not always, I'm a human too. So they want me to go through things too and then realize things too, because they don't want me to say, Everything's divinely orchestrated. So they have me share messages that are very freaking clear. But then out of nowhere, I just wanted to jump out. You see that? <laughs> out of nowhere, they become solid as fuck. And you're like, oh my God. What did I say about this? 11-11 union? Which obviously, that's, that's what's happening right now for a lot of you. Don't forget the union is about yourself. So if your person is being an asshole, sorry, I do not censor myself. You can go about shopping and doing whatever you want to do because I feel like a lot of you have already gotten to that point of stability, understanding that this union has nothing to do with focusing on another person. It has everything to do with learning your lessons and healing and learning to love yourself to the point that you can love another whether or not they are next to you. That means that if it takes their lessons 500 years for them to learn it, then you can, oh my God. <laughs> if it takes them, and I don't read reversals, but this one wants to come out in reverse. I have to laugh because they're so ridiculous, my, my angels, they're so clear. If it takes them 500 freaking years to guard themselves and realize lovers in reverse that, you know, you guys have some something or accept their emotions or whatever. Because uh, you guys know if it's, if it's a soul connection. If it's not, then you'll know too very soon. Because this time right now is all about stability. I'm going to say something to you. You can't do the wrong thing with the right person. However, everybody is responsible for their karma. Okay, so we have union has been like slowly unfolding. I've been saying it's like a domino effect, right? So we have the group 
that are already getting solid, going towards like actual marriage union. Then we have the group of mother, you know what? <laughs> Chariot in reverse. <laughs> that refuse to fucking move forward and learn their goddamn karmic lessons. And accepts love. Not really love for you, but ultimately it's love for themselves. And that's the problem. But those of you, regardless, especially if you've been watching these videos, that means that you are more spiritually awakened, right? Because you understand a lot of the things that we're talking about. Understand that if you choose to avoid your karma and pay for your karma and learn your lessons, tower moments, tower moments, that just jumped out over here. Oh my mother, you can't make it up. This just, he just flew across the room. That's how you know this is strong, this message right now. The fucking devil. <laughs> If you refuse to learn your lessons, the devil will say, I'm going to continue to stop you from feeling love, from having partnership. Oh, you'll have nice, you know, wonderful, fake, you know, just look at my last, not the last one, the video before it. If you haven't seen it, go see it. That person. That's who you're going to have. You're going to be stuck by the devil energies, okay? You're not only going to be able, you're not only going to be unable to move forward in life. And in love but within yourself okay you will not get abundance remember I say that all the time don't I I say this whole thing has to do not about relationships or some romance because hey this journey has nothing to do with romance it's the most painful heart-wrenching freaking type of connection you can have because you're supposed to have the most pure connection why because you guys are supposed to be the most pure on earth on your own and then merge that and become even more powerful a select group were put here to do that and I, i've said this so many times mostly in every single one of my videos what do i say what do i say and i even do the hand gesture i say guys understand that you can manifest your whole life the universe has it all written for you there's all sorts of parallel realities that we live in our higher self is constantly trying to guide us our angels divine swords they're waiting for you to get rid of these devil energies addictions karmic situ situ situations oh my god <laughs> karmic situations okay um addictions did i say that family problems um i did channel a lot now that I look back at my videos, a lot of them have secret um, addictions that you don't know about to things like sex addiction, addiction to porn, addiction to um, going from woman to woman to woman, gambling. I've been saying that, especially with the pentacle here. I see a lot of them. Okay. There's a lot of secrets beyond the secrets that you've already learned. Okay. And how many times have I said... As long as you get rid of your karma the way the universe has pushed you to and become in union with yourself and trust your guidance, it's like out of nowhere, all the abundance comes to you in money, in life, in family, in love. It's already yours. This union's already yours. It's not that you can't come into union because you're unstable. It's that you're unstable because you cannot come into union <laughs> with yourself. Kid you not. I knew from the beginning, and that goes hand in hand in hand in hand. With, I'm not even going to pull this out, but this motherfucker just jumped out here. You know what? I'm going to, because that's been going coming out in like every single reading. Sorry, I got thirsty. I'm doing so many private readings. We have the group that continues to refuse. Refuse love, refuses the truth. The feelings are there, but the devil still taking over. All those karmic things that I said, that's devil. Unable to move forward. And that will keep them and continue to keep them in this Knight of Swords anxious energy. Then there are the group of you that actually accept it. I'm going to be happy with or without this person. Understanding. That when you are an energetic collection, collection, what is wrong with me? When you are an energetic, have an energetic connection, a soul connection like this, right? You cannot cut the cord. You can extend 
how long it takes, depending on whether or not you want to release your karma, you have more lessons to learn. To the point where you can actually get married, have children, then divorce and actually come to union when you're like 60, if that's what has to happen. I did mention that when, in what I'm going to explain right now in one of my readings. When Saturn went in retrograde, I said, this Saturn going into retrograde, which is when all this shit happened, it was like the universe, it was like it is, it was. It was time to purge all of this karmic bullshit all of these wounds it was purging I, it, I i told you it was going to be a disgusting time and i said the universe is going to say you're going to learn your lessons and get this or are you going to refuse letting go of your karma and get tower moment after tower moment after tower moment and guess what if you don't do the right thing the universe will continue to fuck up your life book it just fell out <laughs> to keep you in the dark to keep you anxious in these shadow energies okay these hidden secrets the moon is secrets things that happen in the dark things that no one talks about things that you don't want to share with people again in the dark especially if it's next to the nine of swords you're the only person you're sharing that all your demons with is yourself your demons unable to move forward with love because of what you're hiding look at you look at you Whoever's watching that this this side resonates with you, instead of saying divine masculine, divine feminine, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say, look at you. Because there's so many watchers. I don't know who's watching this. It could be divine masculine, it could be divine feminine, it could be either of you. So you know what side resonates with you. I'm gonna let you guys figure that out. You see how clear that is? Do you see, you don't need to learn how to read tarot to understand that this is stability, abundance in finances and life. It's divinely guided. There's a hand coming out of a cloud and this is 1111 union. Two people with freaking a bouquet of flowers going um, towards a, um, what is that thing called? Altar, getting married. I mean, that's common sense. It doesn't take a rocket science and science why can't i speak when i can't speak that means i'm channeling like crazy it's like really intense it doesn't take a rocket scientist okay to see that this is somebody blocking themselves remember wands is passion but wands is also spirituality from spiritually awakening which then keeps you unable to love love in reverse unable to move chariot in reverse bound by the motherfucking devil okay it has you by the neck we all know who the devil is. I don't have to explain that. Ultimately keeping you here. Even if you la di da di da di da on a regular basis. Look, running away. Walking away from your truth. You are still in the dark. You're still being secretive. You're still living a double life. You're still not being your authentic self. And as long as you are not your authentic self. I can't speak. I don't know. You are bound by the devil. And that is not this group's problem that's your problem because this group the time has come where they have been able to yes you guys are connected create this shield of i will always have love for you but i am not going to accept your negative energy anymore unless you choose to get rid of it okay continuing to walk away From love and moving forward. However, however, watch, you're gonna see a nice card now. Hold, watch. I already know. They want it from this deck. Okay. I already know what they're gonna say. However, you can change this outcome. They're trying to say right now, guys, and this goes with divine uh, feminine too, because you guys have things to, this whole healing, karmic, um, situation this heartbreak Th three of swords look look at divine masculine stabbing you in the heart this whole situation brought up wounds for you too because you had to learn your lessons too didn't you so right now is the time to make the decision i just split you can't make it up are you going to make the decision oh my god oh my god <laughs> you can't make it up i'm telling you 
my angels are something else. Now, you guys know I channel my angels, but a lot of my messages also come from my higher self. Remember that there are multiple dimensions. So there are parts of you that really is the voice that you hear inside. A lot of them is angels, spirit guides, a lot, but sometimes it's you, your higher self, the one that already knows that in the 5D, you're in a relationship with this person and you're already rich. Heartbreak. This is what the universe is saying you're supposed to be having right now. But it's your choice. The time is now. You can do that or you're going to do this. Walking away. Heartbreak. Okay? Because of this heartbreak, you have been given the choice. Magician next to the Two of Swords. We spoke about that in one of my readings. Learning to manifest. Two of Swords is choices. What choice are you going to take because of this heartbreak? Because of it, they want me to put it where I put it initially. Sorry, guys. Because of this heartbreak that happened, you have a choice now. Are you going to manifest going towards abundance and union and actual in the 3D, a relationship, happiness, bliss? Or are you going to make the choice to walk away from that and live in? You have two choices. Look at that. Two of Pentacles. And that came out in the last reading too. And the reading before. Living a double, being two-faced. Double life. Right? Because we all have lived double lives. That's what healing is about. It's ignoring that side of you that you need to heal. Look who's here again. The devil. It is no accident that the devil came out here when I'm talking about divine masculine basically and now they had me pull this deck like I said I always say for no reason but I always know it's for a reason in this deck is divine feminine in the dress the devil the only deck I've ever seen with divine feminine being a devil so look hold on a minute hold on a minute hold on a minute because this is what they're trying to say it's time guys the clock is ticking. Whatever choice you decide to make, I said current energy before I pulled any cards, is your destiny right now for a very long time. We're going in retrograde right now. It's time now. They gave you guys lessons, tower moment, everything, slap in the face. If I'm asking, are fucking heartbroken, you're heartbroken, everything. And if you still choose, you have a choice. Look, 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 at the, look, look, double line. If divine feminine could choose to be with the devil divine masculine can be with choose to be with the devil eight of cups walking away from someone what choice are you going to make two of swords what are you going to manifest magician what are you going to manifest despite this heartache right here i'm going to put it are you going to choose to walk away from the abundance and the union right now or are you going to choose to walk towards this that keeps you bound and there's a devil on each side of this choice right now because you guys mirror each other notice in this card the only difference is that one has a headband the other one doesn't explaining that yeah you might manifest you might show things differently you might be different people you might look different you have differences but ultimately you're the fucking thing what are you gonna what are you gonna manifest? That's what needs to be said right now. They want me to pull two more cards from here, and then I'm gonna go. No, they want me to pull two more cards from the sexual one, and then I'm gonna go into what I was gonna say, and then I'm gonna cut this short so I can continue and stay home alone on my Friday night, doing private readings and having a glass of wine or something. Look at that. Two of Wands. That's what I see happening. But not for all of y'all. For the majority. And I'll talk about it. Especially because we started with the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Plus what I'm about, I'm about to say about my other readings. They said two from here, so one more. I already know what it's going to be. Watch it be like something. Let me stay quiet. Right, it's just beautiful. What could be more beautiful than the strength card? <laughs> Let me 
want nothing else. They want something else to make it even prettier. I'm such a creep, you know? What could be even more beautiful than getting the Emperor, Divine Masculine, finally coming into his power and coming full circle the world? What could be, what could be more beautiful than having one, two, three major Arcana cards? <laughs> I'll tell you. I'm, I, this whole mediumship thing, I'm telling you, it's kind of creepy. It's creepy for me sometimes. Because, I mean, I know, but I, I already know. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my god. You know what we got? I'll show you what we got. I'll show you what we got. The two of pentacles again. So what they're trying to tell you right now, hold on. I know what they're trying to tell me. To tell you. They're saying, okay, so now we made this part clear about if the, the time is now. We got the devil twice. So listen, whatever choice you make between now and Sunday, not even. Honestly, like now, like if that's why they said do this shit right now. Look, determines whether or not you're going to stay here. It's unfolding before your eyes. saw that. So, okay. But since this is a general reading. Oh my God. I just split the deck. And there's a the motherfucking devil again. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Hold on. Again, they want something. Come on, divine. Fight the devil. It's too many. Fight the devil, divine. Stop it, stop it. That's too many. But that's what they want. The magician. <laughs> I told you. For those of you that are new, I'm a medium, so it's like, there's no particular spread. I'm still keeping aside the ones that I need to pull out, but I'm going with what they're telling me to do right now, so they want me to pull one more for here. The freaking devil for the third time, that's a pretty clear message about what I just said the time is now. Like, literally, right fucking now. That's the third time. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> with, the, with the fucking sun. You can't make it up, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what we just got again? Oh, if it's not the same message that I just gave you again. The Nine of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the anxiety. They look very different in their illustrations, but it's the same card. You know why they, why they had me pull it in that deck? Because it doesn't look all that bad there, right? But it looks like shit here. Because what they're saying right now, very clear, is... The devil, honey, can show up in multiple ways. The message is so strong. The, me the, the devil can come up wearing a dress like a beautiful woman. All right, catching your attention, wanting you to take your pants off. The devil can look like this. A fat old man with a weird face it's not human and a big belly and hairy legs and claws with weird wings or the devil can look like this kind of some weird creature but you know he has a penis in his hand so he looks like he could be a little funny you know what is that saying especially next to the magician they always have me pull multi-dimensionally i mean you're seeing this happen and the magician's right here again too one for divine masculine, one for divine feminine. And the sun. The sun is bliss, happiness. You know the sun to me means the divine's talking. Again, just like the last reading brought to you by the universe. Bring me up in here to make things very freaking clear to you. You know what? Let me put this devil on your face so you don't forget about him. Because he's trying to fuck you up right now. That's a very clear message to me. The sun, the divine is what brings you the light to union, to your bliss, to your happiness, to your naked place, to the place where you could be fucking naked and don't care about what's on your body or what they see, what's hanging, what's wrinkled, what's hairy, what's bumpy, what has cellulite, what doesn't. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's the sun, that's the universe, that naked place of happiness. The sun, we know what the sun is. We can't live on earth without the sun. The sun provides life to us. 
here on earth. The sun outshines. The devil doesn't doesn't matter if the devil's here three times. The sun will always win. However, the devil is here three times. So that means, and I'm getting very clearly, especially for divine masculine, they've had three tower moments off. Where I honestly feel bad, but it's it's karma. They've had three tower moments back to back. Psh, slap in the face. Psh, slap in the face. Psh, slap in the face. And now they're all fucked up. The devil is taking over in a lot of forms. Forms of, didn't I say sexual addictions? There's that big penis. Addictions to going between women, unable to express their um, emotions. There's that woman in a nice pretty dress. It's not really a naked penis, but it's a pretty woman. And then the devil in all other situations. Didn't I say that? Is that a coincidence? There's never a coincidence without a channel. It's mediumship. So, you have a choice. Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. You can choose to manifest Magician. There's one for both of you. The Seven of Cups and the Sun and the Four of Wands, which you saw the Union and the Pentacle we already saw. Oh, look up. You guys are so in love. Oh my God. You guys know that the vibration of love you guys, it's a false societal thing that love is romance. It's a false societal thought that love is all. That you can't be in love if you want to be rich. If you want, That's all the fucking devil. Illusion. The vibration, the frequency, like actual, I'm not just saying energetic frequency of love. They've even done studies on it. Brings you to a place where you attract manifestation this, not that. It is up to you what you do with that sword and that wand. You could put that wand across you like this dude. Hide. Or you could take that sword and not kill your divine feminine. Kill this motherfucker. So that you can have this beautiful life. And what happens, especially since this is the first card to me is always the most significant. And the first two cards that we got was the ultimate stability and abundance from the divine in marriage. And we know you can't have marriage with someone else unless you have marriage with yourself. So that goes hand in hand. It's just happiness. We started with that. So they said, this is what we have for you right now. And he's really trying to fight it. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're just going to let this pass you by? You're just going to keep yourself blindfolded from the truth? Swords are truth, mental clarity. That's what you're going to do? Well, guess what? It's no accident that she has a red blindfold. That's the color of the motherfucking devil. The devil has you blindfolded. La, 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 la. Can't do shit. You feel like you can't move. You feel like you can't breathe. You're sad. Try to act tough on the outside. Because look at this dude. His, it's all muscular. His freaking outfit's like... Do, God, do men call their clothes outfits? I don't know why. I just, I just, I don't know. I mean, I, you know what I mean. I, I, whatever. What is that that he's wearing anyway? Anyway, whatever. Okay, looking all tough. But you're coming home, dreaming about the sun and this love, but sleeping and feeling like ass. And here they're kind of in union, but this is the same car, Nine of Swords, which is anxiety. Him having anxiety, being with, both the karmic and the divine feminine there's just no freaking happiness either way you look at it there's that black cat it's just anxiety central everything you do with women without women with life this is you right now but they're saying you see this man is all slender and whatever magician but this depiction of the of the magician is strong as hell that dude Honestly, he goes to the gym every single day. To be completely honest, you can't be that strong unless you're taking something. I'm just saying, but whatever. Maybe those are some of his double energies. Because remember, the magician could be go either way. I'm just saying. But that's showing you something. Especially because we got the strength card. You have the strength. You think that little red blindfold is strong enough to like literally blindfold you for the rest of your life no so are you guys trying to make a change or are you guys trying to stay in the darkness and stay here over and over and over and over and over and over and over the world is talking to you to come full circle the world right now the world is telling you 
Eight of Swords is the card of being stuck. Oh my God, you can't make it up. There's Divine Masculine trying to, like, trying to be on top of Divine Feminine or on top of a karmic, another woman. And look at the devil. Dying to creep up in there. This is the Eight of Swords. What comes after the Eight of Swords? The Nine of Swords. Ooh, this is a multiple, multiple, multi-dimensional message because they want me to reach so many people today. For those that lied or, and are with other people or left you for other people. Ooh, I get it. This message is for that motherfucker that woke me up two days ago. Oh, yes. This is for everyone. There's a message in this for everyone, but they just, that dude just got here again just came here and the, and the divine is saying oh my god yes the world card the sun card <laughs> the magician twice saying you both divine masculine and divine feminine have been given by the uni uni curse <laughs> i feel like it's the devil trying to um block my throat chakra right now from speaking Okay. The universe has given you both, literally, in your hands, and the strength, magician, one for both of you, to manifest whatever you want. The devil has been fighting hard, three devil cards, to keep you blindfolded. Okay. For this message, you could take it in multiple ways, but you already saw from the beginning what they had for you in the past two readings they made that clear here but for those that are involved with other people in relationships faking it as fuck and coming home and feeling like ass they're saying very clearly continue to do that continue to do that and hide from your sword from your truth look who's creep the devil is there i got you thank you for choosing me Thank you for choosing me. I will eternity, in eternally, eternally keep you in situations. These are the same cards, even though the pictures are different. I will etern eternally and happily keep you in romantic relationships that revolve around black evil ass cats and anxiety when you come home with your sword of truth hanging on the wall. Like something that you were, that's just there to remember. And that dude that's there three freaking times is like, <laughs> oh yes, just another follower. Uh, I've been recruiting. I've been recruiting. Been recruiting. And it's a, it's, it's a pretty, it's an offer you can't ignore. I mean, sex beautiful women Ooh, fire what are you gonna do come here come here look look how sexy she looks it's a nice bra it's all see-through but that's this same card in a different illustration what are you gonna do there's the devil what are you gonna do what are you gonna do Sex doesn't feel that bad, does it? It can't be wrong. <laughs> you see? What are you going to manifest? I feel like Divine Feminine has already made her choice. Why? Especially with this illustration. It demonstrates what I said. Divine Feminine's already in her power. Look at how sexy she looks. Good squats you're doing, too. Look at that. She's looking outside of the window with that star right there, admiring, saying, thank you for my abundance. Thank you for my love. There's a pentacle with a heart right there. And there's Divine Masculine. Honestly, he looks disheveled. He could have picked a better outfit. That does not look like if I invited someone to a wedding, okay, and this is how I'm dressed up, which probably will be because that's how I am, okay, and you show up to go with me and you look like that in jeans and stuff, greasy ass hair. I'd be a little disappointed, you know? It's not equal. So, what's going to be your choice? Because Divine Feminine's already abundant with her without you. She's already looking at the star. And you're here trying to creep in to say, hello. 
But if you're going to come and do it in a sneaky way, I don't know what's going to happen here. If you come forward with your strength and just talk and go after what your heart actually really wants, that's what the sun in the world is saying. Then there's no problem. Divine Feminine knows the truth. She's the high priestess. There's the star. Why are you... If you go creeping behind someone like that, you do not look trustworthy. So that goes for the Divine Masculines that are not in communication with you, that are still in La La Land with their karmic situations, being sneaky. If you're still in that energy, that doesn't give off a good vibe. Now, if you come to me like the Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles on a horse, then she's going to turn around and say, Ooh, you changed? You look stronger now. Do you understand? That's the choice right now. We know what the devil wants. Honestly, do you, have any of you seen that movie, The Shining? It's like red rum with the word murder backwards on the mirror. Red rum, sorry. <laughs> that's a bit creepy. But that's the devil. Look, he has that little star. But that star on top of his head. And that was from The Shining. Listen, you know why that came to my mind? Because my older sister and brother decided to put that movie on when I was five fucking years old. And in that scene where the door, the wall, like, turned into blood. And then it just, like, came, like, gushing and, like, through the hallway. I am eternally traumatized. <laughs> but that's kind of a message in itself. You will be eternally traumatized if you do not go after what your heart tells you right now. Okay? Because divine feminine is strong. Look, that's that same woman with the dress, same color, hair, and everything. Look at her. She's out there. She doesn't even have underwear on. And she's, like, battling this beast. Like, whatever. Who cares? I can do what I want. And then, lying up there, taking a nap. The world's card is the completion of, of karma. She's, she's accepted it. She's abundant. But the choice now is, is Divine Masculine going to come and be Mr. Creeper as hell? Always creeping, lurking, stalking, looking at social media, finding out about this person. How's this person doing? Like, if you're doing that and you're thinking about this person on a regular basis, like, clearly you're not living your truth. Clearly, you're being sneaky because you are not living your truth. Right? So you have a choice. You can be this creeper or you could be the creeper that literally gets to touch her and caress her while she's sleeping naked and too comfortable as hell. And your hair is equally as greasy, but you're naked and don't care, and neither does she. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? You have the strength to do that, Divine Masculines. If you don't do it, the time is now, it's done. That's what the universe is saying very clearly. You can have this. There's a turtle there, slow as hell. You can move slow. And this, you can also stop this from moving forward. It's your choice. You can have this. Look at that. She woke up. He's like, no, 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 no. I'm not going to be a creeper. I'm strong too. Boom. Eternally in the light. Happy as hell. You know why? Look at the cards that we got down here. I was waiting to pull them out. Because if I masculine came forward. And this, I'm channeling this. Because this is what's happening for a lot of you. Actually came forward and put it all out at the table. Look. I'm going to tell you the truth. I did this. I did that. I did this. I did that. I did this. I did that. I did this. That. This. That. This. That. This. That. I'm all fucked up. I mean, they don't look all blissful here. They're not being disrespectful. They're just listening to each other. And you see her what? He's not particularly being romantic to her. His feet are on the ground like he's being serious. And as he's being serious, her leg is starting to touch his. Because that's all she wants. Is somebody that's courageous enough to say the truth. 
The Two of Wands is making a plan for the future. The Emperor is the Emperor. We know the Empress is Divine Feminine. The Emperor is someone that takes control of your life. He's a freaking Emperor. We know what an Emperor is. If Divine Masculine chooses to be strong and create this, become the Emperor and come and, and take responsibility for it, go after what he wants despite the karmic situations. It doesn't mean karmic situations are just going to disappear. It literally is just as simple as being able to acknowledge who they are and their truth. Not hiding and being a freaking creeper. Divine Feminine starts to put her leg out there. Okay? And the message that I'm saying to you guys that have already done your work is this situation is not about waiting for anybody. Okay? Some of you are getting communication this weekend. Honestly, just like the other readings I channeled, even like right freaking now. And it's going to be kind of like a conflict a little bit, but ultimately it's for the greater good. Because, oh shit, yes. Wow. Honestly, some of you in a couple hours. Remember the last video I posted that? And I said it's like a domino effect. And a lot of people, like 300 people in the comments were like, holy shit, it happened for me. If it didn't happen for you, it's like a domino effect. I was like, I will never forget the comment because I said a comment like, some of them might even show up to your house in a couple hours, like in the bushes and shit, knocking on your door. And someone commented, oh my fucking God, he just showed up in my house, like on my porch, like in the bushes. <laughs> like legit. So it might be you. Being solid with themselves, okay? Ending the conflict by coming forward and communicating and being truthful so they're not sad anymore. Who the fuck wants to live here anymore? Tower moment is like, psh, psh, out of nowhere. So that to me means out of nowhere communication to fix this conflict and this sadness and create something more stable, even if it's just a conversation. Divine Masculine is coming forward as the emperor twice. That's pretty clear to me to do this. Some of you, it's for, I said in the beginning, I never know what I'm going to pull out. I mean, I do, but I said current energies, not like now into this weekend. I literally see some of you like tonight, some of you tomorrow, some of you comment below because it's never bullshit. Because every time I say that, people are like, oh my God, yes. Oh my God, yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It happened right when I was watching this, like. And some of you are like, no. But then they had me look through my readings and I noticed a lot of things. And I had to write it down because like, I'm not going to remember. You're not going to even believe this shit. It just clicked. The reading that I did where the table was all shaky and shit, but whatever. I never noticed it was that bad. May 3rd. Was... Where it's, it says, it was called Summer Union. Summer Union. It was literally me describing the entire story of what was going to happen during the time of the beginning of Saturn retrograde, which was at the end of April, I believe, April 29th, until now, which is time to make the fucking decision or else. I kid you not. And in that reading, I pulled a card that said, your story. You know what else came out there? The reading that I just did before this one, I pulled two cards for Divine Masculine from Archangel Michael, which I've been saying, Archangel Michael, my husband, I can love him. He's the one behind all this. Archangel Michael is my man. <laughs> in the last reading, he pulled the two cards that said, forgive yourself, you did nothing wrong. And the card that says eternal love in the last reading. The reading from uh, May 3rd, those same two cards came out from, you can go back and see what I'm saying. Uh, those same two cards came out for D uh, Divine Masculine from Archangel Michael in that reading, next to a card that said, that said, this is your story. In that, in that reading, I said, Divine Feminine, you're the High Priestess. There's some secrets and truths that are going to be coming out for you guys in domino effect that you don't even know about that are going to cause heartbreak, 
<laughs> you're already the high priestess, so the, the source of your issues is the fact that you already know, even if you don't know. Those cards from Archangel Michael came out. In that reading, I said about the retrograde, and I said, right now, you're given the choice. I said, right now, it's all about releasing karma and, and learning your lessons. And right now, you're both given the choice. This is all from that reading, May 3rd. Right now, you guys are being given a choice to release your karma and heal yourself right now because uh, the universe is not trying to deal with anybody because union is supposed to happen in the summer. Or you can avoid handling your karma and you're going to have tower moment after tower moment after destruction after fucking karma slapping you in the face after over and over again. Go see that reading. Everything that I said there happened. Okay? You know what else? I'll say it in a minute. Then the one on May 13th after that says huge divine masculine sh shift, okay? There I started talking about some of you receiving communication, but then trying like coming back on some like and not giving you the whole truth kind of stuff, okay? I also mentioned there that there was competition between uh, some of you and a karmic, like a person they're in a relationship with. I also said in that reading, if you think they don't know about you, they do. I also said that some of you are going to find out about deception, lies, trickery, cheating, all of that I called it. And it's been unfolding. There I said, again, that it was summer when it was supposed to bloom. May 20th, the, the reading, I think, after. Okay. When I, I wrote here, 27 minutes in, I mean, the whole thing is significant. 27 minutes in, I said, okay, May 20th, the final, we're approaching the final purging process is here. We began it May 3rd, but now it's like heightening. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay. It's, and this was the moment where I said divine feminines were starting to get fed up about thinking about reconciliation but not doing anything, okay? Tower moments were happening, okay? Divine masculines were trying to make a plan to come forward, but then they did their shit again. May 23rd, I called that in that week or around that time, there was going to be some kind of explosion, tower moment, fights between you guys. That some of them are in relationships you're not even aware of. Lack of honesty is going to come up. And that's when Divine Feminine is going to start coming into her power even more. Because she's purging some Divine Masons. We're going to communicate and come into union. Which did happen for a lot of you. But some of them are going to communicate and then continue to let to live in fear. I wrote... All of this is written by from me going back and, and, and watching my, my read my predictions. Some of the karmics were super manipulative. I wrote that. We saw two readings ago. Then the reading in June 3rd. The divine said the time is now. Now. The one that says keys to our hearts. It says some of you might not even be aware of the connection. But don't make them the center of your universe. I said that there's going to be a moment of extreme heartache or pain like the last bit of pain for a lot of you in this week hey you know what that same week and i did this reading before it happened somebody that was in my life backstabbed me in a way i never thought that they would and honestly it, it really got to me and i looked back at that may 3rd reading and all the readings that i'm saying to you right now and i just had like an like an epiphany like have i been channeling myself because <gasps> all of this shit went down just like it went down for me. I swear to God. But for you guys too. <laughs> I never noticed that. I was like, oh my God. Even while things like this were happening to me, I didn't even realize. Okay? This was June 3rd. Okay? And I believe that happened to me a week after. So some of you, same thing. Okay? 22 minutes into that reading, I said that a lot of Divine Masons are going, are keeping a secret about how they truly feel about you. This was June 3rd, mind you. This is what's happening right now, as we saw in the last video. In that same reading, I said, June 3rd, the Divine is forcing him, 
by making him be in sadness, five of cups, four of swords, going within, tower moment up the ass so that he can grow because he's refusing it. And he's going through a spiritual awakening and the divine's like trying to like push him over the cliff or else. That was June 3rd, while Divine Feminine's already coming into her power. And then I said the Divine Feminine is too much the Queen of Cups. Very loving and feels burdened, Ten of Wands, by the situation. And the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups were the same freaking queens and kings that I saw in the last reading for Union. And the Ten of Wands burden. <laughs> Can't make it up. Then... We got the reading June 21st, where we got the 1111 complete mirroring of Divine Mass and Divine Feminine, which is what? The moment where Divine Masculine realized, or a lot of them in this collective, oh my God, this is my person, for a lot of you. Like, com it, it, it was out of no all this thing that I just said to you, all these readings that I just wasn't aware it went down like that, but clearly I did, came to this moment june 21st reading of complete mirroring and then it turned into what the last two readings were the supercharged one divine masculine's being desperate waking me up at three o'clock in the morning because of their karmic bullshit and the last one like super sad which i called in one of those readings recently that the divine was going to push them and may 3rd the may 3rd reading like nostra fucking damas or some shit i mean i don't know how i do that everything that i said boom 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 and that was the only reading that got the card that said your story it was told and that's how it's unfolding and look at this now you can't make it up some divine masses are already coming into union with you good for you guys now we're at the moment where divine feminine's like i understand this is a connection a soul connection it's gonna happen no matter what so that's that so i'm not worried about it so if they want to wait until I'm in a four-year relationship and then whatever, then, then whatever. If it's not in this lifetime, then whatever. You understand? You guys are in your power. Some of you are coming into union. Some of you already have communication. Then we have the group that Divine's been trying to push over the cliff. But they're like, I, like I said, the June 21st reading that the Divine was going to keep them in five of cups energy. And these Divine Masculines are still there and refusing and what did i say in all those readings that i just told you about that the divine was then gonna go psh, 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 over and over again until they figured it out again like i said brought to you by the universe the sun so i'm gonna tell you the devil is making himself known he's becoming a little too fucking obvious for you to ignore so if divine masculines are seriously ignoring the, the devil after this i don't know what to say and they're realizing if the if if the if the karma situations have to do with an actual relationship with someone else this person is the devil which by the way came out two readings ago coincidence no three times that's become obvious so i'm going to tell you something it's really freaking hard at this point for divine masculine to avoid the light that's why i said some of you are getting communication like literally in a couple hours now into sunday max after that honestly i said on may 3rd this is supposed to be evolving july into august it's gonna prolong a little bit because they're not doing their work and that sucks because they're gonna live a fucked up life so but divine feminine is good for you you guys are in a good place stable enough to let go of anger resentment whatever you realize this isn't like freaking disney remember what this union is about it's about union with you and it's about not pointing fingers at each other saying that one person's karma is worse than another person's karma realize that you guys both have your own karma and it's not your choice you're not god to choose what karma is better or worse their karma hurt you because you were supposed to go through that karma to heal yourself someone said this and this is exactly what it is you know why this is so difficult you love in that person what you love about yourself on the inside like really you love in that person what you love about yourself
there's love and there's hate. They're both strong, right? I don't think hate, but you, I'll explain. You love in that person what you love about yourself. You hate or don't want to see in that person what you hate and don't want to see about yourself. Because you guys are the fucking same. You love about that person what you love about yourself that you ignore. <laughs> you hate about that person what you can't stand about yourself. And then you ignore. <laughs> and the, the divine's like, uh, that's the whole point. Like, that was the whole point of your lesson on earth. <laughs> so it's your choice what you're going to do. You know? For some of you, you realize that. And you are able to now just recognize, I love about this person what I love about myself. I hate about this person what I hate about myself. They bring out what I hate about myself. But I chose to fix what I hate about myself and embrace what I love about myself because this person showed it to me. And that alone on this journey is everything with or without a relationship. And when you're in that energy, you can send them no matter what they did. You know, say, I have boundaries, so I will not accept your bullshit if you don't do anything about it. But I will always send you love for doing that. In the hopes that they don't choose to have tower moment after tower moment after tower moment for the rest of their lives. Okay? I don't see that, again, this is a general reading, but I don't see that for the collective that I'm reading. I see a lot of you, like, there's going to be huge changes right now. They're done. They've been fearful, but the divine's not having it. And neither are you. Divine feminine, you're, like, literally right here, like, I'm about to jump. You don't show me, I'm about to jump. Okay? I'm like that. You know? So, that's what I see. Craziness. Very clear, huh? Alright, let me get back to personalized readings. Maybe pour myself a glass of wine. Hopefully no one wakes me up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Please. <gasps> the hermit. I mean the hermit. The hermit and the hierophant. Listen, the Hierophant is about spiritual awakening and spirituality, and the Hermit is about keeping to yourself with a candle. If that is a sign from that to my mask and that he's about to wake me up tonight, because that's exactly what you do. It's when you go within that you go into your spirituality and wake my ass up. I'm letting you know right now, don't do it. 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 Oh my God, I just bought the deck. Don't fucking even think about it. Get on your damn chariot which is a car, a horse, bulls, whatever, and, and, and go talk to someone, go see someone, do your work, go somewhere, take a walk, take a drive, but do not even think about going within into your spirituality, whether or not you're conscious about it, and wake my ass up. I'm just saying, that is, <laughs> right when I said that, you can't make it up. You can't make it up. Oh my God. Oh. I think that this person has accepted the light despite being in a relationship with someone else or something else that keeps them bound to the devil. This is beautiful. Look, there's the Hierophant. High Priestess. Again, just like the last reading, the ultimate spiritual pair. Choosing to move forward. I just got the chills. Chariot. Not like we did in the beginning with the devil energy, which was upside down. They're choosing to come forward. This could be in a car to come see you. I saw towers. It could be like unexpected, whatever. Some of you are getting communication. Or they're just moving forward in their own life and healing. Whatever the case may be. To become the lovers. Divine union. How do I know it's divine union, not karmic? Because we explained this situation, okay? In the last reading, the last two readings, who this bitch is. And who he really loves. Who he's petting. So I told you what's done. 
I told you that you know that. You guys have a spiritual connection. I told you that. You saw the hermit. They've already gone within and figured that out. Accepted the light. You see how everything changes now? A lot of them are coming forward, like physically. I'm letting you know. Do you know why? That's why she's starting to turn around. Instead of looking down. Things are changing this weekend. For a lot of you. Oh my God. I can't believe it. My readings from May 3rd to now literally just wrapped up right now. Literally just made perfect sense. And the first one on May 3rd said, this is your story. Literally. It was like a story. Like a movie. Like someone said, this is your story. I, it like kind of really gave me chills. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. All right. Send the 11 light.